you know, some Republicans have been saying that some the, G- the GOP should play ball on this committee. You really? Could, you could get who the three. That? Who was that? Adam and Liz? Well, they both, well aren't they kind of like Pelosi Republicans? Are Pelosi Republicans? Well, look, uh, Rick Abbott, it's very serious business here. We have uh, important work to do. Uh, and I think that's pretty childish. Look, I, I, it's, it's childish. We're doing big things right now. We're, we're getting to the answers of the worst attack on the Capitol uh, since the War of 1812. Uh, you can call me whatever names you want. And uh, I just believe that, look, you know, bottom line, uh, I'm an elected member of Congress. I'm a Republican. Uh, Kevin McCarthy is technically my Republican leader. And to call, you know, members of Congress by childish names like Donald Trump used to do, I guess, is just uh, kind of part of what do you think really? Well, it's, it's what stupid people do. It actually is. And if you if you look at the facts, which, of course, Kevin McCarthy doesn't ever do, uh, Liz Cheney has like a 95 percent ACU rating, 95 percent uh, conservative rating over the course of her career, which is actually my conservative rating. But what I found out a long time ago, and Liz certainly has known for some time now, obviously, by uh, saying what, it, what what what's going on. Uh, this Republican Party, Donald Trump's Republican Party, doesn't care about ideas, doesn't care about ideology, doesn't care about conservatism. It is disconnected from conservatism. It's all tribal. It's all about voodoo and medicine. It's all about violence on January the 6th. It's all about covering up actually what Donald Trump is doing. And so, Kevin McCarthy resorts to, to childish name calling uh, for, again, I, I don't know what Adam's lifetime conservative rating is, but Liz's is 95 percent, 95 percent, one of the higher, higher, uh, one of the more conservative members in the United States Congress, by the way. Uh, and so that's what they resort to. Why? Because uh, that's all they have. They don't have the facts on their side. They don't have history on their side. So all he can do is act like a three-year-old and, and our, our Donald Trump, same thing, and just throw names around. So lots of luck with that. It's not going to change the fact that four police officers are going to talk about how they were brutalized and almost killed by Donald Trump supporters on January the 6th as they were trying to actually overthrow the federal government and commit sedition against the United States of America and stop the voting uh, the, uh, which is constitutionally mandated uh, uh, of the, the Electoral College voting. But, you know, that's the party that Kevin McCarthy will always be associated with. Lots of luck with that, buddy. Lots.